Hello and welcome to the Just a Few Friends Chatting About E3 show. <laughs> uh, now say that 10 times fast. <laughs> <laughs> we, we ran out of names, folks. All the good ga gaming podcast names are like, they're all, they're all already taken. So we were like, okay, we were trying to figure out what the heck to call this thing. And we decided, ah, we're just going to call it the Just a Few Friends Chatting About E3 show. There uh, you go. Hello, Rolls off the tongue. Exactly. Hello, everyone in chat. I see uh, Brian W. Foster in there. I see No Eyesight. I see Gallifrey and Wolf. Uh, Keegan, I see you in there. Thank you so much for the foggle, as well as Virgo, uh, Virgo Six, I believe. Um, uh, thank you, thank you so much for the follow. And hello, Deathwish. So, I'm Steve Saylor. For those who may not know, I'm, this is uh, my channel here on Blind Gamer. Steve's Twitch ambassador and accessibility advocate, and I've got two friends with me joining me. We're gonna be talking about State of Play. We're gonna be talking about Sony. We're gonna be reacting and then also doing a post show afterwards. I want to introduce my co-host, Steve. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, I'll give it, uh, keep it really short and sweet. Uh, I'm a freelance writer in the video game industry. Probably may have seen my name on Mobile Syrup, iPhone in Canada, Squad State, stuff like that. And I'm just one of Steve's few friends. <laughs> I've got a few. I've definitely got this few. proof. I've got a few. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but do you have other friends named Steve? That is that true. That is the question. Ooh, I, I do have another friend, Steve Spawn, but I mean, you know what? Uh, like you can like I can see a competition happening. This is this could okay. be <laughs> and sp speaking of Battle other of friends, the Steves. <laughs> speaking of other friends, I definitely do not have uh an Aaron, uh or at least yes. one that I know of. So uh Aaron, why don't you introduce yourself as well? Um so I'm the best Aaron of all of Steve's <laughs> friends. Uh <laughs> yeah, I'm a content creator on YouTube and Twitch. You may know me as Kaboom. Uh, I cover superhero related content, whether it's the, the movies or the games, you know, upcoming superhero related things that I, I doubt we're going to see during the state of play, like Spider Man on the PlayStation 5 or Wolverine, whenever that comes out from Insomniac, um, Gotham Knights as well. Lots of fun stuff like that. Uh, and yeah, I'm really happy to be here. I'm hyped to be reacting oh, to the yeah. state of play. I can't wait to see what they got in store for us because, I mean, it just feels like the E3 season, you know? Yes, it and it does. And I just want to throw it out there, Steve. Thank you so much for setting all this up. I mean, yes. we've we've collaborated in the past on on squad and stuff like that, but it's just really nice to be able to sit here with you guys and celebrate E three season again. A hundred percent. And by the way, folks, if you're kind of tuning in, they're like, "Wait, didn't you guys talk about that you're going to have Camille on?" Camille is actually uh, un unfortunately I'm not able to make it because you know what? She's got a paying gig. She's currently hosting uh, the Call of Duty League event here in Toronto. The the yes. been, Toronto's hosting the uh, COD League. Uh, uh, I guess match three, I think is what they're calling it. Uh, so uh, she's over there. She will be joining us next week uh, for the summer game fest. And then kind of basically, this is what we're going to be doing for the next little bit. Whenever there is a direct or an announcement or a showcase mm -hmm. that we can be able to mm -hmm. tune in live over the next two weeks, that is what this show is going to be. We're going to be basically jumping in. We're going to be live reacting to what is announced and then doing a post show based on kind of like our experience and talking about uh, discussing what was announced and, uh, talking about the different things we are hoping for uh, to either be able to uh, like what this what the games are going to be like or what any other sort of tidbits that we can sort of glean from from us reacting to uh, the show. Uh, so first off, I guess we got Sony's state of play. Uh, according to Sony, it's 30 minutes of PS5 and PS4 games to be announced, yeah. including some PSVR 2 games. So, uh, Stephen Caboose, I want to throw it to you. What are you hoping to see in this state of play? I mean, that's the kind of the, that's the, the the big kind of magic, like they're the, 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 looking the crystal ball moment. What do you <laughs> yep, expect, yep. Steve? We're gonna start off with you. I have a few. So the first one right off the top of my head, I totally expect to see some sort of update for Stray. That's the, the cat-centric uh, yep. game. That game was announced all the way back when the PlayStation 5 was first revealed. We don't really have a concrete release date for that game, so I assume it's going to be here. We're going to get a release date, a new trailer, something like that. And then, uh, you know, I, I got to put it out there. Just help me, everyone out there. Give me your energy. We need Bloodborne. We need a Bloodborne <laughs> PS5 update and yeah. PC release. Yeah. I'll throw it out there, tinfoil hat time. NVIDIA, they tweeted that they're watching this. That's true. Oh. That's true. Although they did right. say just, just today, out there. 
or they did announce that apparently that I guess Sony doesn't want God of War on GeForce now. They kind of oh. they they've removed it from the store or the GeForce oh, Now service. So oh. who knows what's gonna, what's going to happen with uh, with Nvidia? So uh, and then there's there's one last one I want to throw out because I have to. We talked about this, you know, previously off screen and everything. PSVR two. I got to put it out there. Tinfoil yep. hat. This is pie yep. in the sky, but I believe there's a 1% chance this can happen. Insomniac will reveal a, a Spider-Man PSVR 2 game. I've, oh, man. Close your eyes, everyone. Envision the amazing Spider-Man yeah. trailer. Yeah. First person up against the skyscraper. You see the suit. That's the kind of energy I want to see today. I'm buying into that hype, honestly. When Steve first told me about that like a day ago or a day or two ago, yep. I was like... I don't know, you know, I'm not sure if we can end up seeing it, but like the more that I hear the talk about PSVR 2 and what it's going to be capable of, and especially seeing that, you know, we know we're going to get a little bit more from the Horizon VR game that they're working on yeah. um, from the state of play. So it feels like they, they really want to push some boundaries with the PSVR 2. And what better yet than to, than to get in there as Spider-Man and to be able to swing around New York City as the wall crawler. That would be amazing. So I'm buying into that hype. You know, you mentioned to me, Steve, that Insomniac has worked on plenty of VR titles in the past, so it's not beyond them to do something VR related. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. I would have expected something Gotham Knights from the state of play, but they announced that that's going to be at Summer Game Fest. So I'll hold off on that for a week, <laughs> but I guess it's about to start. So yeah, I really I don't know we'll how much more speculation they yeah. have. Let's just let's just get ready and jump in. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna yeah, be I'm, I'm looking forward to I'm this. I'm ready. I'm ready. What do we get? What do we got, Sony? What Jim Ryan? What do, what do you got for us? Mr. Ryan, give us the goods. Oh, wait. What's this? Is that the that's not the last of us? Oh, first. is that the release date for the Oh <gasps> I think it's the last of us. Oh my god. No way. Is that Red Dead? No, it's Red Dead. Red Dead? No. Wait. The, are you kidding it? me? Oh! oh! Wait, what? Is it Evil 4? Oh! Yes! We got the Red Baby! <laughs> Oh wow. oh wow! That's how you get things started. That was uh, that threw me for a loop. Not gonna lie. The range of emotions I just had right there. I have chills. Holy cow! <laughs> oh man! There he is. There's our dude. Yeah. Oh, Leon oh, this Kennedy. Looks good. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> wow. Hey, the one. This game looks so good. You will receive our most sacred body. That's definitely a good start. Now. They showed the release date right at the beginning too, huh? Yeah. yeah. March uh March 24th. March 24th. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. That's, that's confident. That's that's a good start right there. I, I think so. How, how many trailers for games have you seen where they start with the release date? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, like, that's that's an odd one. Like it, the, this actually lines up pretty much with how they've been do, like releasing the Resident Evil updates. Is like right. spring releases, yeah. They've early, yeah. yeah. It's like usually like January, February, March. So this mm -hmm. this lines up perfectly. I yeah. thought this was way further out. PS5 Me exclusive. Too. Oh, is that really? I don't know if it's exclusive, oh. but it did say specifically PS5. Oh. So it's like... exclusive, yep. Oh, yeah, people yeah, might yeah, not yeah. be happy about that. That's crazy. Okay. Nice. That's a good way to start. That's, <laughs> that's an amazing way to start. Oh. VR content, that's an interesting one. Yeah. It's interesting, though, that they're now... This is actually officially Summer Game Fest branded. Yeah. We've never oh, seen finally. That. PlayStation VR 2. Oh, Village Four games in VR development. 2. Nice. Ah, now, let's take a look at him. Wow. Wow. This was already scary enough in first person. Oh, I know, man. <laughs> I'm ready to go back. Don't I'm make me go, go through that dollhouse in VR. Like, no. Oh. No, thank you, man. <laughs> 
Damn. Capcom knows how to bring the hype with Resident Evil trailers. Seriously. Yeah, they do. <laughs> and the first person Resident Evil games just pair so well with VR. Okay, wait, hear me out. Capcom has a presence here for the state of play. Street Fighter Six? I believe I I think so. I think yeah, there's a good I chance. I think so too. That's what people have been kind of predicting. Yeah. Yeah. God, this is such a fun game. I like this. Do I get to put my hand back on by myself <laughs> in VR? <laughs> Oh, Yo, you see those? Oh, those are cool. Those are cool moves by Ethan Winters. Whoever was whoever was doing this, like capturing the footage in VR too, they knew what they were doing. A lot of fun. They knew what they were doing. A lot of fun with that. Sweet. Which makes me I'm, wonder. I'm, it's I'm, like, okay, if it's Capcom, does that mean that we're going to see this on the Quest Two or on any other VR headsets? Mm -hmm. RE Seven was. PSVR exclusive, as far as I remember. Is this, uh, what is this? Who emerged from the putrid waters of the Bayou to plunder our righteous gains and cut Not familiar to me. This is definitely a VR, uh, game. Yeah. Yeah. What have you done to ensure the future of this forsaken city? Kind of almost like a dying light vibe. I was gonna That's say. That's what I was thinking. Chaos. Wait a minute. The UV lights? That's that's dying light. That's a vibe. Is this a straight light. up dying light VR game? I think it could be like a a spin-off. Bit of a different art style. Yeah. If they showed parkour, then we know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when the bells ring, the song they sing will be right. That's pretty bad. I don't know. It's... <laughs> I mean, parkour is like the staple of it, so it may not. Yeah. Retribution. Retribution. The Walking Whoa, Dead. Oh, Walking Dead. Tourist. <laughs> Who is that supposed to oh, be? Oh, that's then? this year. I don't know. That sounded like. Uh, I yeah, I don't know. I, I I couldn't guess. That's interesting that Satan Sinners is getting a sequel. Mm hmm. Oh, No Man's Sky. Yes. Oh, nice. Makes oh, that's awesome. That's really cool. Yeah. Oh. I mean, they had this for VR in the first place, so the fact that this is going to be coming yeah. to VR too, this is great. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Very cool. Not bad. Yeah, I'd go for that. I'd play that. There. Ah, here we oh, go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, yes. I asked you a question. Oh, I guess we're not playing as Aloy, so that's that's interesting. Uh huh. Reyes is a good shot. Yeah, and I'll put arrows through both of us. You're switching with me. It's a snap mob. Not gonna make it. Oh man. Oh man. Oh. Imagine playing that in VR. Oh, swimming in VR. That just does not yeah. sound great. <laughs> no. <laughs> Underwater levels are already hard enough. Yeah. <laughs> Do it in VR? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing I am looking forward to this because of just how beautiful Horizon is in general. Yeah. 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 The climbing, that that aspect, I'm totally down for. The yes. bow and arrow stuff, yes, please. Yes. It's pretty sweet. Especially with those new move controllers, like that would probably yeah. feel really cool. Haptic feedback? Mm hmm. Yeah. Adaptive triggers? Hell yeah. Mm. Did they confirm adaptive triggers for the PSVR too? Yeah. Yep. Oh, cool. Haptics on the headset too. If you oh, can believe that's it. That's right. <laughs> that's going to really be great for, for blind, low vision users. I'm surprised at how like interactive this looks. It's not just like a oh look how pretty yeah. right it is when you throw on a, a VR headset. There's like combat and traversal and like you're going underwater, you're climbing mountains. Yeah. 
when they were in the boat, I was like, is this just on rails? Because I don't want right. this to be on rails. Right. No, exactly. But it seems like you have some mobility here. That's cool. Hi. I'm Ben McCaw, narrative director at Gorilla. Okay, they're going to talk a little bit about Hi, it. Ben. Yeah, they did. They were very careful to not say, not give a release date. We're also happy because yeah, be none of these have for for VR two. Yeah. New game plus. Hey, new game plus. There it is. PlayStation four and PlayStation five. Yep. Today. I need to get cool. back into this. Oh, you can reset oh, skills. Reset skip. Thank God for that. Yeah. Oh, Interesting. Hard difficulty. Nice. <laughs> I'll never touch it, but I'll, it's very nope. nice. <laughs> no, thank you. Oh, new, new trophies. Greg Miller's going to be happy. <laughs> yeah. Out now. Details on this free update. Please check out PlayStation Blog. From all of us at Gorilla, thank you for your continued support, and please stay tuned for more updates to come. Capper boy, I agree with you. So far, so good. Get ready. I was just yeah. about to say we're ten minutes in, and this is a uh, this is going really well. PlayStation fan favorite is coming to PC. Here we go. What are we oh, okay? It's PlayStation. Spider Man. Good. Imagine. Past few years. Oh, oh no way! way! <laughs> Asking for nothing. Hell yes! Yo! Wow. Let's go! Who can make the hardest? They're putting Spider-Man on PC! Wow! I mean, this just confirms that basically they're just gonna put wow. all games on PC at this point. Right? The, nothing is sacred. If you're worried about your PlayStation exclusive staying <laughs> nope. that way, they're coming to PC, man. If, if Spider-Man could do it, like, anything will. Yeah. Yeah, yeah this oh, just broke man. the floodgates. It looks so good, too. I cannot wait. Remastered. Wow. It's the remastered oh, version right of the PlayStation yeah, 5, yeah. That's right, yeah. <laughs> oh, I cannot wait, wait to see I missed what the they're going to do. What was that? Oh, I missed that too. I don't oh, think they had one. Did they? I think they this did. This is Stray now. Oh, this is, yeah, this has got to be Stray, yeah. Stray, I cannot yeah. wait to see what modders are going to do with Spider Man on PC. All the alternate suits. Oh God! Morbius, man. give us a Morbius suit. Us, yes, it's Morbin time. Give baby. me the Morbius. It's Morbin time, baby. <laughs> oh, this is exciting, man. Oh, uh, apparently oh. my chat. Uh, chosen August twelfth. Is August. Okay, there yep. we go. That's awesome. End of summer. I'll, uh, I'll double check really quick. Ooh, I love the 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 text and UI for this. For accessibility, large stuff is always good. <laughs> August twelfth. August 22. Cool. I can't oh, wait for awesome. this game. That's awesome. You know what? I'll admit. I remember seeing the trailer. I was like, okay, yeah, sure. But this, I'm like, okay. It's I just love the environments of it. It's, it's really like neon. It's it's kind of futuristic. And you're a cat. Boy, what's not to love? Yeah. Probably the only time I can actually interact with a cat. You know, because I'm allergic. Ah, <laughs> oh, no, boom. <laughs> All right, give us a release date. Give us a release Please. date. July 19th. July 19th. Hey. I think in a month. I think I saw a story that that was rumored. It was leaked on the. Um, I'm still reeling on from Spider Man on PC. <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting that. Oh, oh. So cool. That will get your heart racing. Okay. Three games that will get your heart racing. It's already racing, so I don't know what's going to happen. Wait. Oh. Second, I thought so it was no protocol. Striking distance. Okay. I thought it was going to be dead space for a second. So, yeah, this is Callisto. Is this right. that horror game that's made from the guy who made Dead Space? Yeah, oh, Glenn. Oh, right. Callisto, yeah, you're yeah, you're right. Callisto yeah. Protocol, yeah. Just like you would have been if I had Kitty in the City. That's a they should rename the <laughs> they game. Should, yes. Oh my god. <laughs> Kitty in the City, the best. That's an incredible <laughs> name. That's your old life. You got to let that go. Because your new life is entirely in my hands. I'm just trying to 
give you a chance at rebirth. Oh man, Oof. that was scary as hell. <laughs> yeah, atmospheric as hell. Mm -hmm. Oh no. <laughs> Damn. I'm looking forward to how much I'm not looking forward to. This. <laughs> exactly. <I'm> the same. <laughs> Between this, Resident Evil 4, Dead Space coming back, man, we are thriving yeah, for love. survival horror I games. Know. I'm here for it. For sure. Gives me chills every time. Except this thing? No, I don't nope. like this nope. thing. Nope. No. Nope. And nope. <laughs> no. Mm -mm. I do not it need looks... this in my life, but I also need oh, this in my life. No December. kidding. December. I thought this game was years away. If I, I, <laughs> I have, a, I have a feeling, me. a couple of release dates here might not reach. Well, specifically, I don't know 100 percent about Callisto Protocol, but I'm glad to see a lot of release dates for the yeah. stuff that's being shown to us. Is this um Sable? Yep. What's that? Beautiful game. Uh, it's, it's only on Xbox right now. Oh, okay. Wait, I guess coming to PlayStation wait, no, now. This is this not is, the same no, style, this though. is brand. Oh, oh, shit. oh nice. Wait, what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo, right, they just beat and switched me. Wow. Yeah, this has the exact same. I was like, move over, Roller Champions. We got a new contender. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn. That's pretty cool. Wow. <laughs> That's dope. Roller champions with guns. I'll dig it. Oh, Ricochet? Yeah. Okay, that was sick. Yes. That was sick! This has like Tony Hawk Pro Skater vibes to it, too. Mm hmm. I wonder if the slow motion is, uh, is actually part of the game, too. I, I hope so. Time. I hope it's super dramatic like that. <laughs> Roller Drome! Yes! Sick. It's an August. Sick name! Sick. Sick name! Yes! That I've gotta play. Sometimes I wonder if things will ever be normal again. Oh. What is this? Alright, that was metal. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I mean, this is a Japanese game if I ever saw one, but hell yeah. It's not hopeless. I won't let anyone else get hurt. Don't you want science in your corner? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I look forward to seeing what you can do. They did not just give him a tentacle for an arm, did they? I think they did. <laughs> oh my god. That's a Japanese ass game, 100%. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is what Ghostwire Tokyo should have been. <laughs> oh, right? <laughs> Internites. Internites. Wait, Eternites? Eternites? Eternites. Yeah. Okay. Eter days. <laughs> That's the sequel. <laughs> yeah, right, right. And dating sims collide in Eternites. Okay. Coming to it's a dating sim? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Couldn't you tell? <laughs> Couldn't you tell? Oh god. Oh, Street Fighter 6. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, Street Fighter yeah. 6. Oh, oh absolutely. Oh, yeah, nice. Okay, you better show me a new logo, Capcom. <laughs> please. Please go back to the drawing board with that. When you go looking for strength, it's not like a game. This journey doesn't have a real ending. Oh. Okay, Damn. You ready to begin? Woo! 
If that's the art style, hell yes. Right? These are potential stages. I'm super oh, into it. Oh, damn, yeah. Wait, what? what? Whoa. Open world? Is there like a like a Mortal Kombat Conquest mode? I don't know. Oh, like a... Uh... What? Oh. Oh, damn. Punished Ryu. <laughs> oh, say no kiss. No. <laughs> <laughs> this that's is what the dope. KOs I, look like, I, am I love the art style yeah. of this. Hell yeah. Oh, is there is there a tag team mode? Let me have some fun. Ready? Then show me. This will be a good fight. Nice. Nice! Oh, yes. Oh, it looks incredible! It yeah. Looks so good. Wow! Yeah, what an upgrade to the art and direction. Oh, oh my yeah. god! If this is what, like, <laughs> next gen can do, I'm all Seriously. Up. Holy crap! Yo, the colors! Oh my god! This is awesome! Wow! Wow! Damn! Nice! Wow! Yes. <laughs> Battle Hub. Oh, they are going with this lo that logo, but at least it looks. They changed it a little bit. <laughs> what? Going to the Pokemon Arena? <laughs> what was that? Yeah, like? what was that? <laughs> <laughs> They just make Street Fighter, like, the uh, words look like the graffiti that they did for Capcom's logo at the beginning of the trailer. Like, I'm with you on that one. infinitely been, better. Yeah. Agreed. That was your first look at oh, that's just the six. six. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. Okay. I was like, was that supposed to be, like, that's six? Oh. Tunic. I love Tunic. It is such a good game. Tunic's awesome. Yeah. I think what I love the most about like Tunic is literally like I want to fill in as many pages in the instruction booklet as possible. And that's the thing. I think it's it's so nostalgic in that way. Yeah. And I love like the the the, the attention to detail. Like there's no like handwritten notes and pen. Yeah. In it. It's right. Just it gives you hints by doing that. It's so good. Played it on the Xbox and it's awesome. Yep, me too. Right. September Ooh. for uh, nice coming to PlayStation. All right. <laughs> you know, I'm seeing a lot of people. Not to go back to Spider Man again, but I'm seeing a <laughs> lot of people who apparently like lost it and were expecting something for Spider Man Two. I think oh, I think not no enough way. people. I think not enough people heard the like uh, uh, now a PlayStation exclusive is coming to PC line. Yeah. Like I was primed and ready for the announcement. You know. <laughs> but I think some people were like, "Oh my god." <laughs> <laughs> they were gonna announce it at some point, like that was gonna be on PC. So, yeah, right. I'm I'm really surprised. When the season turns, who knows? We still got Jeff Keighley next week. <laughs> to be honest, now that that gets me excited for Miles Morales when it inevitably yes. comes to PC as well. Yes, I think they have like a really good schedule lined up of like how often yeah. that they that they bring uh, like a, P a game to PC because we just had God of War what last month, the month before, yeah. it was really recently. It so what's very... next? Last of Us, you think? Last of Us, I would say, yeah, that would probably be the the the, the Last of Us one and two. Yeah, Bloodborne. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I'm wondering though. It's interesting. Is that uh, PlayStation? Like that we have yet to see a PS5 game come to PC. The world was telling her it's all been PS5. You're right. Titles. That's a good point. You're right. That's a good point. Ratchet and Clank then. Ratchet and Clank maybe. Oh, the uh, the first one before uh, Rift Apart. Or are you oh, thinking... actually, I wasn't even thinking about that, but yeah. That could be yeah, a good one to put the, on PC. The yeah. what, 2016? What is that? Yeah, that sure. one. Yeah. That, was a, that was an older game, yeah. Not yet. 
I think this is what? This is Lake, right? Oh, season. Never mind. No. <laughs> I just had to wait for a few seconds. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, I, hey, I, lo I love that. Autumn, season. Okay, cool. I don't that's think it. there's anything that's been shown to us that's coming out longer than a year from now. That's true. I think the longest is uh, March. Yeah. Oh, Final Fantasy. Here we go. Oh, nice. 16. さしのトレーラーとともにインタビューなども始まりますのでぜひそちらも楽しみにお待ちください。今世界には本当に様々な困難があります。僕らゲーム開発者にはゲームを一生懸命作るということしかできません。ゲームというエンターテイメントを通じ
just internalizing like the the announcements that could pop up and everything i was like well resident evil village did have promised dlc which i mean they still haven't really even announced uh, almost a year out but mm. that was as far that and street fighter were the two that was like okay capcom's gonna at least talk about these games in some respect did not expect them to have right. resident evil 4 here or even start the state of play with resident evil 4 so mm. that one it coming out next year in the the spring time that's really hype for me yeah, I, 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 it's it's interesting that, that, like, this was definitely Capcom's show. Like, we've got three, mm -hmm. no, four, like, was it four games we had from Capcom? Because we got Resident Evil 4, we got Street Fighter 6, we got Final yep. Fantasy, or, no, that, yeah. That's wait, Square. That's Square, sorry. Um, yeah. So, what, yeah, so I guess. Then it, Resident Evil Village PSVR Resident, 2. Yes, yeah, oh, three. so, mm -hmm. so, so three strong. announcements, yeah. I mean, it, like, I mean, we knew it was going to be third-party announcements, and we, was, we were going to see a lot of, like, PlayStation Studio announcements. However, on the flip side of that, we did get, like a cool spider-man announcement with the fact mm -hmm. it's coming on pc so Caboose, mm -hmm. you were really excited about that one tell, tell like now it's sunk in a tiny bit yeah your thoughts <laughs> me the spider-man remaster coming in august that's just awesome like that's like right around the corner you know i'm really excited to to see like if there's going to be any new suits that they sprinkle in there you know like there there was uh the no there way was home some, suit maybe the, the the no way home final suit the amazing yep. spider-man 2 suit the andrew garfield one like I, I would love to see that thrown in there i feel like they'd have to have something like some small extra little bit of incentive for the, for people to like maybe want to get it on pc but again like i was mentioning it during the show i'm I'm personally extremely hyped because I've seen people who I, I guess they have like modded PlayStation 4s or something mm -hmm. and and they created like a black suit Spider-Man or they've created like sort of different little mods and stuff like that to have fun with. That's I mean, I had fun with that with God of War on PC. Like, I don't know if anybody here saw the, the Darth Maul mod for Kratos, but oh, it's, yeah. it's pretty yeah. freaking sweet. And they I recently saw the just did Master Chief. Master Chief and Kratos yeah. fight, yeah. which was which amazing. Which was awesome. So, like, that, I think, for me, is what I am most looking forward to, is to see, yeah. like, modders kind of, like, have fun and, and, and now have the sandbox of Marvel Spider-Man from Insomniac to play with. Um, but, yeah, to just be able to re-experience it, to replay it, maybe at higher than 60 FPS on PC. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm hyped. I'm really, really hyped. And I certainly, I was not expecting that announcement. I like how no. our boy in the chat basically says they should also add Spider-Ham. And I'm like, <laughs> spider yes, ham. yes. If they can get yes. Spider-Cat in there, they can get Spider-Ham. I pay full price. <laughs> I also just want to point out, like, this sets an amazing precedent for Sony and its PC initiative. Because, I mean, when you look at what they've done so far, yeah, bringing God of War there uh, to PC and its other titles, I don't think it has that much of an impact like spider-man does i think right so many so much of the the playstation community and not not necessarily the good side of it but they hold spider-man on as like this is our boy this this is a yeah. console relic like this belongs here so sony coming out and saying like no we're bringing this to pc it almost says well now everything's coming to pc in some respect right like Literally. there is no sacred game out there no yeah 100 100 if spider-man's coming to pc then I'm telling you, like I said, Miles Morales is on the way, you know, like they've already got God of War. I'd expect yeah. The Last of Us and The Last of Us Part 2. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not even sure what other Ghost of Tsushima. Has Ghost of Tsushima been announced for PC already? Is that I don't that think so. I don't think they've uh, with the director's cut. They didn't announce that. Uh, well, was I would Stranding expect was, was uh, yeah, was for announced for PC. So or yeah, that's I'd PC. expect Ghost of Tsushima on the way. Like yeah. it, pretty much it seems like now. After what they did with, um, what did they start with? Was it Days Gone, where where they kind of were getting started? Or it was, it was Days Gone, Uncharted was, Collection, or, or Uncharted Four. Uncharted was, was recent, Horizon, though. I think, yes, uh, and then Horizon, Horizon was yeah. there. Yeah. So it seems like now they've they've sort of gotten their groove and they have like a, a bit of an understanding as to how to set this up. And it looks like what their plan is is, I mean, more recently, obviously you have games like Horizon that aren't as older, but Mm -hmm. You know, wait a year or two, wait two or three years maybe after a game's been on that PlayStation platform, be exclusive to that console, sell pretty much every copy that it could on exactly. the console. Yeah. And then they're like, oh, you really like that game? Sure, we'll throw it up on PC and you can uh, and you can buy it again. Or, or yeah. if you haven't played it yet, you can buy it. And honestly, I think that's what excites me the most is when Spider-Man was first announced to be a PlayStation exclusive, to me, that was like a bit of a bummer is because Spider-Man is one of the biggest IPs in the world. Mm -hmm. right. And so for, for 
two thirds of like the gaming economy to essentially be missing out on that was like, oh, that sucks. And now people are going to be able to experience it, which is really exciting for me. You know, more people uh, on PC, unfortunately, uh, Xbox passed up on the opportunity uh, to work with Marvel games, mm. uh, according to reports. Right. But now people on PC are going to be able to play Spider-Man. And that's like, that's awesome to me. And just imagine New York City ultra wide monitor. Ooh. Right. Come on. Yes. Right. Uh, oh, and man. also they could be able to bring in the same kind of like the speed and loading that uh that it did for the PS5 cuz I like yeah. I that was one thing I was like once the PS5 was out I was showing so many people uh the ability yeah. to be able to just jump into a subway and like within literally 3 seconds it you it, like you can travel across the entire map and you're yeah. already playing and ready to go so like the fact that they, like now this game can be able to take advantage of PC performance I can totally see them uh, being able to do that so that also I guess means that out of all the major franchises, at least that PlayStation Studios has, the last one to be able to come to PC that we still have yet to hear anything about is The Last of Us. Right. Uh, yes. We have not. We like we. Uh, there is the rumors of a Last of Us remake in in the works, and I would imagine. I would probably think that they're probably saving that to be able to do this in like the Last of Us bundle and kind of leading or into one the end show, part two. right? Yeah. Because it's like, because I could see them doing the Last of Us remake and and Last of Us two in like one bundle. Here you go, and then also putting it out on PC uh, at, at roughly around the same time. Because they want to capitalize on the new show, being like, here you go, here's the new, here's here's the game that you could be like that you just saw on HBO. Now you can be able to play it and uh, and, and and on as many new consoles or new PCs as whatever you can build it. I build think that is a really interesting conversation to have because logically you are one thousand percent correct in that Sony should do that, should get the PC community into that franchise if they're going to capitalize on the on the but... series coming out. But this is also Sony who put out last or Uncharted Four without the un, uh, Uncharted Nathan Drake collection on PC. Yeah. That's true. That's, so, that's true. I don't really know. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if like Sony next year or even the year after was like, here's Last of Us Part 2, and you don't even get Part 1 on PC. I, that, that's just... That's just what I feel. Yeah, I don't got, know. They've got Uncharted Four and Legacy of Thieves out for PC, or Legacy of Thieves right. is about to come out for PC, I think. Yeah. So mm -hmm. wait, is the Nathan Drake collection on PC? Nope. So if you really just, just wanted to follow right? the adventures of Nathan Drake, you you start at you his start conclusion. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, it really like this whole PC conversation. Like, I know a lot of like like fanboys or, or like the diehard fanboys are like mm -hmm. screaming at the top of their lungs, saying like, "No, this is this is dumb." But it honestly. It, it, it makes a lot of sense for Sony to be able to put the, uh, put these games out on PC because it opens up to a whole brand new audience. We saw in their uh, in their fiscal reports to shareholders that uh, they are all, they're going to be fully investing in PC. They're expecting yep. three hundred million dollars in a worth of investment into into PC games. So that can only mean that they're just going to start cranking these out at a, at a regular fast rate. So yeah, right. So hey, basically, plus, like those fanboys should just get on the train or get off because it's, yeah. it's going to go no matter what. <laughs> and that was my original point. Now that Spider-Man's coming, I mean, you guys just got to get on that boat and just the, accept this reality. Anybody, anybody who's getting mad about this, like, how could you be so, like, anti-consumerism at this point? Like, come on, like, more people get to play good games. Like, I, I don't right. know how in any world, in any way, shape, or form, you could consider that and look at that and be like, that's bad. Like, th yeah, there is yeah. no argument that stands on two legs as to how it is not good that PlayStation is releasing their exclusives on PC. A lot of people get to experience games like Days Gone, Horizon, now Marvel Spider-Man's on the way, you know, Death Stranding is coming or is come to PC. Like who knows what this opens up? Like my, one of my favorite games of all time is Ghost of Tsushima. I that that game I will hold near and dear forever and I would love for the opportunity for more people to be able to play it. So if that game comes to PC, that should be nothing but celebrated, you know? So anybody Absolutely. who's trying to sit here and uh, and act all sour about this, it's you you are you are way too hooked and way too addicted on a brand that let's face it my friends, they, they don't care about you. They care about your dollars, okay? Like, yeah, PlayStation, 
Facts. Doesn't care about how much you support them. They just want you to buy their games. Okay. <laughs> I'll even say this too. Like it, it's it, it, like from an accessibility standpoint, this is huge for for mm-hmm. disabled players. I have a friend yeah. of mine who, with all of the accessibility options in The Last of Us Two, ha- has yet to be able to play it. Uh, and he's disabled and he and he's not able to play it because he can't hold a dual shot controller. Mm. And so to like so for him, being able to play on PC is huge. So he was able right. to, this yeah. year, this year he was finally able to play God of War for the first Incredible. time because it came out on oh, PC. Man. And he yeah. says like, well, the, well, other than Elden Ring, because now it's that's his favorite game of the year. But he did say that God of War before Elden Ring came out was his game of the year. Sure. And it's it, it, it just basically it opens up to not only those who are disabled, but it opens it up to a brand new audience that may or may not have been able to check out a PlayStation, especially like nowadays where it's just hard to be able to get a console in general, let alone exactly. uh, like anything else. And so I think it's just it, it just yeah, it just it means more players. It means more people and it really exactly. kind of comes down to it it's like when everybody plays we all win yeah 100 100 that the, the, everybody should just be excited about what's to come here because it's nothing but good news no for sure yeah. Yeah. uh i i just want to turn our attention from from the pc space to the psvr space because this is mm. going to be like a mm. big big major shift for for playstation obviously gearing up towards a new big uh hardware release uh so i mean before they they said that they're gonna launch psvr 2 with 20 first party and third party games and right here we're already seeing kind of the seeds of that come to fruition with resident yeah. evil 4 having a psvr 2 component uh, Resident Evil Village, and then obviously uh, Horizon Call of the Mountain. Mm-hmm. I I still think you know I I'm a little trepidatious in that launch. You know the 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 launch uh, offering with Horizon Call of the Wild or Call of the Mountains only being the the first uh, first party game that we've seen. Yeah. I do really hope that they come out and they say like, okay, here are the other first party studios. You know, at least contributing to this catalog uh, with it. You know going to be a, a huge thing for them but uh where, what about you guys like are you guys excited for psvr 2 are you guys looking forward to any of these uh games offering yeah. psvr components yeah yeah i'm looking forward to it i mean I, I feel like if they if they did the spider-man thing i would have been like okay i i have to get one yeah but right now it's it looks cool like horizon didn't look like gimmicky just mm-hmm. here's how like i said it's not just like a here's how pretty things can look in vr it was it was like there there was actual mechanics to it and you were you were traversing and climbing mountains and going underwater and there's combat so like that i lo- I, I think could be fun it's just um nothing right now that they showed me from playstation vr2 has me like chomping at the bit where i'm like i, I gotta get one at launch right yeah yeah i think yeah. Uh, i would be very interested to see kind of like what psvr uh two kind of looks like because i i have a psvr but it's mm-hmm. been basically been sitting in a box for probably about two, um, say almost even three years at this point, because it's just such I'm a hassle you. to be able to set up and and having the multiple different like cables and boxes. And so mm-hmm. I'm thankful that they're at least saying that okay, there's only going to be one cable connected to mm-hmm. to your PlayStation, and that's and and that's it. And I would be okay with that. Ooh. I've started to kind of get into VR a little bit. I have an Oculus Quest two, and I've been really kind of enjoying that. That's it's it, it's playing that makes me almost kind of wish that the PSVR two was was going to be wireless as well because having that wireless freedom where there's no cables kind of like uh, in, interfering with with your gameplay is such a huge thing that it just it, sure. it, it, it makes it like feel like that you're truly immersed in the world and if you're kind of like constantly like bumping up against a cable or tripping over one or stepping <laughs> over it and like it, like even if it's long enough you're still going to feel like that yeah no you're tethered to something so right i think yeah. that uh it's interesting that at least with the vr to the psvr2 games that were announced in here that uh they were obviously Obviously very coy about not putting out any uh any release dates other than uh walking dead but then again walking dead was uh was a game that actually is for multiple vr headsets anyway so that's more mm-hmm. likely it's just going to be now, an add-on to psvr2 i, I don't want to interrupt to to go back to to <laughs> to some more <laughs> spider-man talk but the, the playstation blog confirms that Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales is indeed coming to PC as well. Oh, oh no kidding. There yeah. We go. So they're kind of doing the bundle. They, then. They, I think I think they're doing them both if I'm not mistaken. That's interesting. So both remastered and Miles Morales coming on, on uh, in August or is that like 
Uh, like good it's good to be question. Coming oh, okay, out okay. So, so Marvel Spider-Man Remastered will launch on PC on August 12, 2022, while Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales will launch on PC in fall 2022. Oh, Makes okay. sense. So Spread them out a little bit. Awesome. Fills out the calendar. Yeah, that is Miles Morales. The, the first PSV, uh, PS5 game coming to PC. Yeah. And Miles Morales, what did that come out in 2020? 2020. That was a that was a launch game. Okay, yeah, so okay. So wow, but that's like the shortest uh, shortest like amount of time between uh, launching on PlayStation to PC. That's uh that, that is, is awesome, man. Yeah, Holy, yeah. that is super exciting. Technically, even earlier if you consider, because Spider Man Remaster was a launch launch ish title for the PS5. So yeah, um, that's true. It's coming out in August. So yeah, I think that we're going to yeah. start to see these kind of churn out really, really quickly. And I'm just excited to be able to jump back in again. I've been, I've been wanting to excuse too. like, it's the only game. It's the only game on PlayStation that I legitimately have a platinum trophy on is, is uh, Spider-Man. So that's uh, awesome. And I'm, I'm like one trophy away from getting the, uh, the Miles Morales platinum too. But unfortunately <laughs> it's, you have to do the new game plus in order to be able to like finish that. Yeah. And then yeah. like, I've been waiting yeah. for a chance. I'll, I'll probably jump in and, and get it at some point but um <laughs> yeah I, I i i absolutely adore that game and i, I can't wait to be able to jump in on, on pc for sure so so cool was, i'm just so hyped oh that's man great. that's gonna be awesome oh man good stuff. Oh, good stuff. Uh, i want to give another shout out roller drome that game blew me away drome. yes yes I, that one was the surprise for me that i'm like I don't know what the heck this is, but I am in. <laughs> Let's go. Um, no, yeah. Sign like, me again, all the yeah, way up for like, that. I just love the fact that it's like, it has the art style of Sable. It's got the gameplay of yes. Roller Champions, but with guns. And I'm like, yeah, okay. That's you all sold. I need. <laughs> you sold me on it. Let's go. Yeah, man. What were your, actually, what were your guys' surprise sort of uh, uh, hits for the, uh, from the state of play? I mean, I, I we were kind of expecting it, and I and I'd called it considering the amount of Capcom presence that was shown early on in the trailer or uh, mm. in the state of play. But like Street Fighter Six looks mm. freaking amazing, man. And it's gonna have like I I adore the uh, the 3D era of Mortal Kombat games, and I don't know if anybody here has played them or remembers mm. them, but they used to have mm -hmm. Conquest, yeah. where you'd like roam around in third person, like, and it looks like Street Fighter Six is doing that. That is so sick. Yeah, it kind of has like a cool, like, it looks like, a, yeah, definitely in like an open world sort of thing where you can just kind of like you can go yeah. out to people and be like, challenge you to a fight. Let's go. Yeah, which like, is really cool. Is Very cool. Street Fighter game. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, they're living up to the name. Yeah. Oh, man. And that's if so if that's executed well, uh, that could be the the thing that pulls me in because historically I have not been a, a huge Street Fighter player or, or you know, I, I enjoy the, the more competitive scene watching other people actually play competently. But me jumping in on my own, I'm like, ah, I don't know. I'm more of like the Smash, that the more yeah. arcade style yeah. fighters, stuff like that. But uh, from what I've seen here, I love the art style. I love the direction of the game. If if it holds up to what I've just seen here, if Capcom can nail that aesthetic and, and fully flesh it out, I'll invest time into this easily. Mm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I, I'm definitely I, gonna I, log a lot of hours into this one. I yeah. uh, I will admit, the last time I kind of played a Street Fighter game was probably back in the uh, in uh, like in the uh, in the 90s. So for me, it's just like I'm kind of like very interested to kind of jump in. I actually know I take that back. I did play a little bit of Street Fighter Five, uh, mm -hmm. like some sort of like party or whatever. But that like I was just you know you know like when you're at a party, you, and you kind of drink, <laughs> yep. and so yeah. you did not uh, do I did uh, not do well. So you know it's fine. I just talk <laughs> I talk into the base. It's a blind. It's a blind moment. I win. It's a win. -win Win situation. If I win, it's pretty there good for go. a blind guy. If I would lose, it's still pretty good for a blind guy. So there we go. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like. I like it. Yeah. You know, so cool. Checks cool. out. Uh, but I will say, like, yeah, Street Fighter Six, like, looks so gorgeous. If that, yeah. if they can deliver on the hype and the style of what that trailer showed. Like oh. that in and of itself is going to be an amazing looking game that I that I almost in a way, I wonder if maybe they're going to set this up as sort of like the platform for future Street Fighter like titles, whether it's DLC or expansions yes. and Street Fighter six is just going to kind of be that platform that they'll just kind of build off of because it looks like yeah. they're kind of throwing everything at it. And I would almost expect that they could potentially do that. Well, I mean, look at Street Fighter five. That's a game that lived on for forever it seems yeah uh, i mean like every other year capcom seemed to be like well it's street fighter 5 with this dlc is the definitive edition with this all this extra content so i i, I wouldn't be surprised if they kind of adapt that and they're like okay it's just going to be this game but we're just going to iterate off this for the entire generation or you know or so when they until they Plus, need a new upgrade i i know it's uh this was announced during the the playstation state of play so so a lot of people were assuming it was going to be playstation exclusive because i believe street fighter 5 was is, but yeah. 
to my understanding, based on their post from the Street Fighter Twitter page, it's on PC and Xbox. Like it's coming okay. to all okay. consoles this time around. Which makes you kind of think they would they would uh, they would have to be cross platform uh, or cross play, right? Like you would- hope, hopefully, hopefully. But then again, I know that um, when it comes to tournament play, when it comes to the competitive side of things, like a lot of fighting games have their home be on yeah. PlayStation. So I, I guess it just all depends on where they're going to allocate their their spending money essentially for street fighter like do they want to put it towards cross play and and implement that uh that capability so that people can play online with anybody or do they want to just go all in on the playstation brand so that they can have the pro circuit and everything be funded properly i i, I really wonder well they, especially uh, with playstation's plan. investment in esports now i think that they're gonna kind of block yeah. that off to some regard and be like yeah. okay well if you are playing competitively you were playing on playstation i think that's fair yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, it, I would I would imagine it's probably like if at anything if there is going to be exclusive that it'll just be a timed exclusive. Um, so mm, like it might yeah. be like it, like it probably well no they did say it's going to be an Xbox PC so it could be I would say that it might be launch of the same day but I mean you know what it's a PlayStation state of play they're not going to announce like announce it's going to be coming to the other <laughs> no, yeah, exactly. other than PC that's exactly. the only one the platform they got. Um, yeah. So I could like I could yeah I, I that one it's just uh, what was the uh, the release date that, that they put in for that one. 2023 okay yeah. so it's just oh summer 2023 right was that the one or is it just said 2023 it's just what 2023 it? i think okay okay they, so that's the only yeah, other, like, kind of main unknown because right pretty much a lot of games at least the ones that had release dates had like hard dates not just years yep. which is I- I- interesting especially with now kind of the post pandemic like it, it, the things get delayed I, right. I, here's the question for you guys then out of this entire list of games that have been, that were announced in the state of play which would you put money on is going to be delayed? Callisto Protocol. Yeah, Callisto. With a bullet. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> because if you Callisto, had asked Final me... Final Fantasy. Yeah, uh, Final honestly. Fantasy, but if, yes, I would say that what was going to be mine was going to be Final Fantasy for sure. Yeah. <laughs> if you had asked me before this showcase, like, what are the chances Callisto Protocol would be here? I'd be like, not, not, there's no way. Like, this game is so far out. I pegged yeah. this game for a 2024 game just based off the trailer we saw last year. I think it was last year. Uh, just how good the game looked just, you know, in development. But yeah, December 2nd, 2022 is bold. And if they can actually pull that off, good for that team, uh, because we definitely need, you know, some fire this fall. But I'll uh, tell you, if they pull that off, because I think, was it announced too that the Dead Space remake is January 2023, right? Yeah. (laughs) So if they can beat Dead Space to the the gun, oh oh my God. That's gonna be that's gonna be a battle of the of the space survivor survivor horror games. That's gonna but then but then you like from a from a player's perspective, I mean, if they can pull it off and everything goes according to plan, Mm -hmm. we'll get Callisto Protocol December, we'll get Dead Space in January, I think, ish. Ooh, and Resident, Resident Evil 4 Evil in March. Like, Ooh. that is a trifecta that is so built for me, like, so built yeah. for someone who loves these kinds of games. I'm here for it. I hope that everything goes according to plan. I wouldn't be shocked if all of these games get delayed. Forget Halloween yeah. season. We're going into horror winter. Like, let's, yes, let's please. Go. <laughs> yeah. I, I would, like, yeah, I would probably put my, my money on Callisto being delayed. Uh, I would say if, if it is close to being released, if they are that confident that December 2nd is their day that's like six months out then i i would say if they are going to delay it it would either have to be a full year out or it would mm. be like you know what we're just going to delay it to the spring because pretty much mm-hmm. everybody's delaying to the spring it, it seems mm-hmm. to be the new date for for games now yeah um, spring is the new fall yeah although it also will hit, miss the uh, the deadline for the game awards it won't it will not contend uh be a contender for the game right. awards if that's the case right their yeah. usual date cutoff date is like november 15th i think somewhere on yeah. there so um yeah that's gonna that's gonna be interesting so okay yeah so you say callisto i say final fantasy six for sure um is there one game that there i mean caboose you probably know your answer it's like is there one game that you're going to be like day one immediate gotta play drop everything call in sick for work make up a fake doctor <laughs> make up a, a, a doctor's note or telling the girlfriends like oh honey uh remember that new game that i told you about it came out today i'll see you in three days <laughs> yeah well i there, honestly there are a couple like you you know the two that are for sure one of them being spider-man remastered in august miles Morales. Alice in, in the fall um but i do i i really want to sink my teeth into resident evil 4 that that mm-hmm. was um when i was a lot younger and probably shouldn't have been playing these types of games was the <laughs> first resident evil i was like 
introduced to. Um, my brother played through the entirety of it, and I just sat there and watched him, and yep. it scared the living hell out of me. But I, I've revisited it from like time to time since then, and like it is up there, like with one of my favorite games of all time, and for sure my favorite in the series. Um, okay. So I cannot wait to see what the what the RE4 remake is going to be like. And I know there's, I actually haven't played them yet. I got to get on this, but I know there's so much praise for a Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3 remake. Um, so if they're of the same quality, then I imagine like Resident Evil 4 is just, it's going to be so hyped to be jumping back into that. Um, Street Fighter 6, hell yes. I like, we don't have a release date, but like, as soon as we do, I'm blocking off like a weekend to make sure I can just play that as much as possible because I, I cannot wait. But yeah, for sure. I, if I were to give you one answer, it would be Spider-Man. Steve, what about you? For me, Resident Evil 4 is obviously up there, but uh, you know, I'm going to I'm going to throw it also to Stray. This game I've been looking forward to. I love the direction of it. I love just the concept of controlling a cat and exploring this like neon it's city, fun. this cyberpunk-esque city. Yeah. Uh, so I, I'm definitely there day one for Stray and then obviously Resident Evil 4 as well. And then to be honest, I go through this entire list. I'm like, you know what? I'll probably play 90% of these games with the odd exception of probably Eater Nights or whatever oh, it was called. Eater Nights, yeah. Eater Nights <laughs> and then... Dating Sim, like what? <laughs> I, I, yeah. I mean, that was yeah. That does not look like a dating sim to me. Like you did not show that in the trailer. I'm sorry. No, uh, that, that, was not, that was not conveyed very well. I know there's some people out there that must have been popping off for this game. It wasn't for me and that's okay. But that and Final Fantasy 16, those are the two games I was like, okay. I know this is for someone and I totally respect that. But when, as far as what's going to be eating up my time, those two games probably not going to be in there. Okay. Yeah. I would yeah. definitely say, yeah, Spider-Man for sure uh, will be a day one on PC hundred uh, percent. And I think Resident Evil four, I loved uh, the remakes two and three. And the fact that four is kind of like in a way, like the most beloved of uh, mm -hmm. the, the, the Resident Evil games. Um, and we've been wanting a remastered for so long. And ever since, they, yeah. I think even since they announced that they were doing remakes, uh, that like when, when two was coming out, they're like, that means there's going to be four, right? You're going to do four. Right. So, <laughs> exactly. Uh, so I think that one we knew was probably on the way. Uh, and I would imagine COVID probably delayed it. Uh, yeah. Or they probably had the team kind of let's focus in on village and get that out the door with COVID and, instead. So I, right. I, I appreciate that at least they kind of because it was a year delay basically like or no it'd be two years basically since Resident Evil three came out I would I think right it was twenty twenty one early twenty twenty one I think was uh, was three when yeah it came out, so I, I think so so twenty twenty two. 2020. Or sorry, 2020, 2020, and then last year was Village in 2021, and then... Uh, oh, right, right, oh, right, yeah. yeah. Oh, I was thinking about the remake, sorry, yes, but you're, you're right. Like, basically, they've been releasing a Resident Evil game pretty much every year uh, every, for, yeah, since exactly. 2020, so, uh, I, like, it makes sense that, the, like, this would kind of be like, coming out now. Um, so, like, even though, the, I mean, the trailer kind of did, like, was a very cool cinematic trailer, I'd kind of want to see what the gameplay is going to look like. If it's going to yeah. look similar to 2 and 3... I would be very curious to kind of uh, to be able to jump in and play that because uh, I, I loved how the game played in, uh, with those remakes. So I mm -hmm. think that will that will be my second sort of uh, day one. Um, and then Roller Drome, if that like if that turns yes, out to be please. good, find uh, me. Uh, uh, <laughs> like I'm I'm cool. Like if it's gonna be multiplayer, like hell to the yes, yes. Right. that would be amazing. So, but uh, cool. All right. Well, uh, boys, like final thoughts. Would you like? Would you think it would, if you had to grade the the state of play? Uh, um, as far as like the official beginning of E3, um, like you can give it an a, like a letter grade, a star rating. What would you kind of give uh, this state of play to kind of kick uh, off E3 slash not E3? Uh, Steve, Steve, we'll start, start with, with you. you. Yeah, I'll probably, it was strong. I, I want to say that it was well-paced. It was strong, very condensed, 30 minutes. I loved I loved the pacing of it. Uh, I'll give it four out of five friends hanging out talking about E3. <laughs> okay, that's perfect. Yes, okay. All right, all right. So how many friends, Caboose, would you give this? Uh, yeah, I think I'd give it a solid four as well. Honestly, for a state of play, this really acted more as a as a showcase than anything. And so that's what, that's what got me the most excited about it is that there was enough, uh, there were enough announcements here for me to be like, okay, like this, they, they released the hype engine, you know, this wasn't yeah. just, um, this wasn't just like, here's a couple of indie games. Here's a couple of third party games. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I should mm -hmm. say, but 
they they very much made this feel like that E3 vibe. You know, I was I was feeling the E3 magic watching this stream. So yeah, good a good four friends out of five. <laughs> I think I'm gonna be the weird one, and I'm gonna give this a uh, three and a half friends out of, out of five. So that okay, okay. is basically a child. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, only just because it's like we like I knew going into this that we weren't probably we weren't gonna have any like exclusive like PlayStation Studio games. Yeah. We weren't gonna see yeah, Wolverine. Right. We weren't gonna see Spider Man Two. As much as I would love to have seen it, we weren't probably gonna see God, uh, God of War. But we could potentially see that next week with Summer Game Fest. Um, I, I, I like going into it and hearing that it was going to be third party in PSVR 2 games, this kind of hit like pretty much exactly where I thought this was going to be. Nothing really major huge, but like some some definitely some good solid uh, titles in there uh, that at least a good chunk, I'd say about 75% I'm probably going to play day one and, yeah. and enjoy. Yeah. So uh, it, like, I think that's, that's going to be kind of my uh, rating is a, th a three and a half. Um, but it makes me kind of like wonder now, so the last question I have for you guys before we, we sign off here is, so now that we We've had like okay, so stay to play out of the way. We enjoyed it. We yep. give it an average of I guess four out of five friends at this point. Um, uh -huh. What do you so? What are your thoughts now going into the summer game fest we have next Thursday, and then the Xbox Bethesda sh uh, showcase uh, on the following Sunday? What are your expectations like for that? And or uh, is there a wild card that you're kind of like we gotta see what's gonna what what X is gonna be uh, coming with? Uh, I, I think like as uh, for sure when it comes to Summer Game Fest, like that's that's probably going to be the closest to an actual E3 that we get this year. Mm -hmm. um, now we, we know like Gotham Knights is going to have a bit of a presence there. So it looks like the marketing's really picking up for that game. Uh, as you mentioned, maybe we can expect to see some PlayStation related stuff going down at Summer Game Fest. Uh, they, they consider this state of play to be a part of Summer Game Fest. So sure. They're, they're clearly, you know, they're working with Jeff Keighley and, and it seems like it's a good working relationship. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's something God of War related because that game's coming out. If it's if it's still slated for 2022, if it's not planned to be delayed, then it's coming out in, in a minimum of six, six months. months. Yeah. Yep. So it's, it's coming about time where we get a new trailer, where we get a bit more of a look as to what's happening in the story. Maybe a... Um, a full-on reveal of your boy Thor. I want to see what he's doing in the game. Yeah. Uh, so, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if we see something like that during Summer Game Fest. And honestly, yeah, I think Summer Game Fest is going to be the one to watch out for. But I am also really looking forward to the uh, to the Xbox showcase. Yeah. Steve, what about you? You know, in terms of like which one I'm expecting the most out of, it's, it's such an unknown because of what the industry is dealing with because of COVID, because of right. constant delays. Like I am really coming into these uh, with. I, I don't want to say lowered expectations, but I, I metered expectations where I'm like, okay. I know that Jeff Keighley is going to bring some surprises. I know Xbox and Bethesda are going to have some surprises, but in terms of that one, like, no way this is actually happening. This is going to be dropping this fall. I don't know. I don't, I just don't know what's coming. And, and I think that might work in its favor. I mean, we could be sitting here a week from now, sitting in Summer Games Fest and just popping off with announcements one after Honestly. another. Yeah. Because we just have no idea how confident a lot of these uh, developers and studios are in, in their development. So right. I'm looking forward to it. I'm I'm still, you know, advising people to hold some of their expectations accordingly. And I know it's in terms of the Xbox Bethesda showcase, not having uh, this, the... Starfield coming out this year and mm. the, the delay of Redfall as well. That kind of, you know, took away some of the 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 luster out of that showcase. But I still think that they're going to come out with some really great stuff. Uh, I, I'm looking forward to it. And of course, I'm looking forward to just being here with you guys and experiencing in it as well as Camille when she's able to yeah. Uh, yeah. this coming week. So it's going to be fun all around. But in terms of like what I'm looking forward to, I, I just have no idea. Like, <laughs> what, what are we supposed to be looking forward to is it remains to be seen. Yeah. Yeah, I'm the same in the same boat. I think that uh, I've there this this E3 or this E3 time is kind of weird. We're not we we don't have uh we have yet to hear about Nintendo. We uh <laughs> we've yet to hear about if Ubisoft is even going to be doing one. Right. Technically, right. I guess if this is the only PlayStation announcement we're going to get with I guess uh, state of play and maybe potentially uh, so, like one or two announcements in in Summer Game Fest, this is kind of it for them. Like really kind of the yeah. only major sort of like we got big showcase we got is technically the xbox yeah. bethesda showcase and so yeah. um i i, I think of ubisoft yeah yeah and yeah. so i think that 
I'm I, I, I even I think I saw even a tweet from Jeff Keighley that uh, I think he said something along the lines of like he because he like you know him like he loves to be able to hype up the show and right. and, and, and of course he wants to get as many people tune in as possible. Um, but he I think I do remember him saying that there was I think it was a question someone had asked that um, it's not like it, it, he said something along the lines of like there's not going to be huge huge surprises. Um, it's gonna it's gonna be good stuff, but it's not going to be like like anything major like uh, like what would you we, we would potentially see because he's in charge of the game awards like something we would see the game awards kind of thing right uh, so, i mean i know a lot of people would just jump and be like well he got elden ring so what's he true. gonna get this i mean it's like i understand that but that was that was something that he was working on for years i imagine yeah, right so yeah. whether or not he's gonna be able to top himself we'll see yeah well i also wonder too is that uh i mean it feels like Considering you know E3's cancellation this year and everything, and, mm -hmm. and and kind of the the subtle shade that Jeff Keighley likes to throw at things like that, yeah. it, it, from my understanding at least, based on the way that it's been publicized, Jeff Keighley and E3 are uh, no longer a thing, and he's not very <laughs> happy with those guys. So right. it feels like he kept trying to make it seem like Summer Game Fest was going to be the the thing that fills that void. Right. So I and and I wonder for somebody like Jeff Keighley who. He knows everybody in the industry and he's able to put on such a huge show with the Game Awards every single year. I, I wonder when he's going to get to a point with Summer Game Fest for it to essentially be E3, you know? And and so if he's saying that it's not going to be on that level and to temper expectations and things, I don't know. I, I, I guess I will. But I mm -hmm. also really wonder, like, so then... When? When, Jeff? When are you? When are you gonna make it E three? <laughs> yeah. You know, we want just take it over. Three. We kind of look yeah, Keely three. I want yes. it. I want it. I I, I just want to point it uh, point it out because I want I want to bounce off something you said, Steve. Is that we still don't know about like all these third party uh, studios and publishers, and I yeah. do wonder like if they all came together and they're like, we'll just give it to you, Jeff. We'll we'll do Summer Game Fest instead of you know Ubisoft doing their yeah. thing, Square Enix doing their yeah. thing. They're like, why don't we just you know, on, form yeah. the Avengers here and just kind of do it all in one spot. So not I, saying that's going to happen, but maybe that's that's where we get Ubisoft games. That's where we get more Square Enix for Spoken. I don't know. I think that, I, like, uh, so, like, earlier Jeff Keighley did put out, uh, or at least the Summer Game Fest account, uh, put out, like, the 30 partners that, the, that they are showcasing on Summer right. Game Fest. And so there's a few of the third parties, the big third parties that was in there. We got 2K, we have Activision, um, which still is its own third party, uh, like, yeah. as of right now. Um, we also... Um, I think it was uh, there was one other there was kind of uh, oh EA is going to also be br uh, uh, bringing some stuff as well and they also said there's not going to be a, like uh, their own EA play uh, event. Mm -hmm. um, I think the only the only studio that was absent out of that was Ubisoft and we a lot of people assumed that they were going to be creating their mm -hmm. own thing. But I wonder if maybe they're just going to be completely silent this uh, this time of year um, sure. and, 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 and until they can finally have something to be able to kind of show because really we have no idea what Ubisoft is putting out over the next while. I think. Roller Champions was probably the only one Ubisoft game that we that we knew about that came out. Beyond yeah. this, we have no idea. Yeah. Um, the Avatar game. True. Yeah, I guess. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> and then we're also seeing rumors of the Skull and Bones kind of a, like a, yeah. like jumping back into the fray yeah. again. So we'll see. Yeah, I'll I, believe what I see it, Steve. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Same with that. It was like uh, black. Oh, wait, is it Black and White too? Is that the one that they had, or is it Beyond? Oh. Uh, beyond Beyond Good and Evil Beyond Two. Beyond Good and Evil Two, yeah. So yeah. it was oh, that right. one. Um, but yeah, I think we'll probably see a few announcements. Uh, EA already kind of announced today that we did see, like, we did see updates for that Madden 20, uh, 23. Uh, we saw a trailer for that. We also saw F one twenty twenty two. Um, that announcement this morning too. So I think yep. that we'll probably see within the next week. We're going to see a few definitely uh, more announcements. We also, obviously, we saw Call of Duty with more mm -hmm. Modern Warfare two being announced. Full disclosure: I do work for Call of Duty, so. D d d d d just take that what you will. So, like, I think we're gonna kind of. I think, I think we're still gonna kind of see everything kind of be pushed into the summer game fest if there is gonna yeah. be anything. And sure, then the yeah. only other wild card in there that we have yet to hear or hide no hair of, other than Pokemon Scarlet and and uh, and Violet, is Nintendo. We have no idea what they're gonna be what what they're, yeah. what they're doing. No idea. So we'll we'll have to see. But the good thing they is is that hush -hush. whatever gets announced. Live, if there's a live direct, if there's a live showcase that gets announced between now and at least at least June 12th, uh, we are going <laughs> to be reacting and watching to it. So uh, thank you guys for for uh, for tuning in. If they wanted to be able to follow you slash stalk you with consent, uh, Steve, where can we be able to follow people? Follow you? 
Yeah, you can find me on Twitter at SVicvari. That's where I post all my work. You can also find that work on Mobile Syrup, iPhone in Canada, Squad State. Uh, I- I'm all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> Caboose, where can we be able to find you? Yeah, Twitter and Instagram at Caboose EK, YouTube.com slash Caboose or Twitch.tv slash Caboose. I'm really excited for Summer Game Fest next week. I cannot wait to react with you guys because it's just going to be a couple of friends chatting about E3. Yeah, I love that. Cool. And you can be able to follow me at Steve Saylor on Twitter or here on Twitch, t- twitch.tv slash blindgamersteve or on YouTube here at youtube.com slash